So next, um, problem number two tayo. So for problem number two, combination of series and parallel na resistance to. So given T1, this side of the wall, uh, 80 degrees Celsius, tapos sa other side of the wall is 25 degrees Celsius, and the following are the thermal conductivity of the wall. Wall A, ito po yung wall A, yung nauna po. Ito po, partition niya. Tapos yung wall B, saka C, naka-parallel. Tapos D, sa dulo, naka-series na naman. So, to solve for this kind of problem, para madalian, drawing niya muna yung uh, thermal resistance circuit. So, first, thermal resistance is yung ano, thermal resistance for wall A. So, sulat natin RA. Then, mapapansin natin yung B at C naka ano po, parallel. So, parallel natin siya sa thermal resistance natin. Circuit. Ayan, RB sa taas and RC sa baba. Tapos, naka-series sa dulo yung R D. Ayan. So, ngayon, kunin muna natin yung mga values ng R A, R B, R C, and R D. So, let's solve first for R A. Ano ulit ang formula? Yung thickness over Thermal, resist, uh, thermal conductivity times cross-sectional area. Uh, given po pala ang mga thickness nila as, sulat lang natin, for wall A, 0.5 meters. For wall B at C, pareho po yung thickness nila, 0.5 meters. So, sa wall D, 0.7 meters. So, let's solve thickness for RA 0.5 over thermal conductivity of 0 0.038 watts meters Kelvin times ano po ang cross-sectional area? Papansin po natin. Ito po. Cross-sectional area is 1 meter by 1 meter or in short, 1 meter squared. So, ano pong RA natin? Pindot that's a calculator. Kuha tayo na 13.1579. Ano pong unit? K over watts or kelvin over watts next rb rb resistance b thickness over thermal conductivity times area equals anong thickness natin sa b ito po given 0. Uh, 0. 0.5 meters over anong k na given? Ang k na given is 0 0.12 watts per meter kelvin times. Ito po. Tingnan po mabuti kung anong magiging cross-sectional area niya. Papansin nyo po, given 0.4 meters po daw dito sa wall B. Yung um, width. Yung high, uh, length naman niya is same as Ito sa may A, which is 1 meter. So, 0.4 times 1 meter is equals to 0 0.4 meters squared. So, RB natin is equals to 10.4167. And po, pag tinip nyo sa calculator. Kelvin per watts. Next naman, uh, RC. RC natin, thickness over K, A. 
Tandaan po, baka rin hindi malito, lagyan po ng subscript dito sa K, ng A for RA, KB for RB, sa KC for RC. Yan, para hindi lang po malito. Pati yung area, pwede rin lagyan. Depende sa discard nyo. So, ang thickness din ng C, makikita natin is 0.5 meters over ang K ng C natin is 1.7 watts per meter Kelvin times. Ito, tignan ulit mabuti kung ano ang magiging cross-sectional area. Given po is 0.6 yung width niya times 1 meter na length. So, magiging 0.6 meters squared. So, magiging RC natin is equals to... Zero point four nine zero two Kelvin per watts. So next, na thermal resistance. The last is R D. Ni to na lang. R D thickness over K D for the thermal conductivity of the wall D times area so anong magiging thickness natin given 0.7 meters over the uh, thermal conductivity of wall D is 0.04 watts per meter kelvin times cross sectional area same sya sa wall A na 1 meter squared. So, RD is equals to pindot natin sa calculator 17.5 Kelvin per watts. Ngayon, tapos na natin kunin lahat ng thermal resistance. Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin kasi ang pinapahanap sa problem the, uh, is yung total heat transfer from T1 to T2 so kailangan natin kunin muna yung total thermal resistance which is RT so applying the concept of electrical resistance the uh, uh, circuits RA is naka series sa B at C pero ang, ang B at C is naka parallel sila. Tapos, plus na naman kasi naka series din si R, T. So, let's solve muna for the parallel connection of between R, B and R, C. So, yung formula for parallel Indicate natin na RBC for the thermal resistance RB and RC is equals to 1 over RB plus 1 over RC. So, substitute. Ma na solve natin. RB is 10.4167 Kelvin per watts plus 1 over 0 0.4902 Kelvin per watts. So, calculate natin. Pwedeng shift solve. RBC is equals to 0 0.4682 um, Kelvin per watts. Now, para mahanap na natin yung total uh, resistance, thermal resistance, substitute na lang natin yung mga nanap nating values. So, R total is equals to RA, which is 13 point, sorry, 13.1579 Kelvin per watts plus RBC 
0.4682 Kelvin per watts then last RD solve natin as 17.5 Kelvin per watts so calculate natin makukuha natin total resistance is 31.1261 Kelvin per watts so hindi pa dyan tapos kasi ang hinahanap po ang required sa problem hindi pala na ilagay no pero lagay natin dito ang required for this problem is total heat transfer so substitute na lang natin sa formula natin Q equals to T2 minus T1 over R total so substitute T2 is 80 degrees Celsius minus 25 degrees Celsius over our total of 31.1261 Kelvin per watts. So, na-discuss na natin sa unang video or unang problem natin na magka-cancel ang Celsius at Kelvin dahil change in temperature yung Celsius. So, our final answer for this problem is 1.7670 watts. Ayan.